back again on the mic in case you haven't heard. Reviewing fragrances on YouTube, I spread the word. A high roller with a house full of aftershave. My CRs hit you like a hundred foot tidal wave. The haters duck and cover because they can't cope. They know my fragrances and rhyming flow is way too dope. I like cologne, said a macho and old school. Don't try to mess with me because you know I'm no fool. I'm gonna lay it down and now you better listen good. I'll have you smelling like a key just like you know you should. I spray ten sprays and then I spray another ten. Then every lady that I meet wants to be my friend. I got no hair left on my head, do you think that matters? Because I always wear a fragrance that is strong and flatters. So go and get yourself a notepad and pay attention. You need to know about these fragrances I'm gonna mention. Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to have a look at some of my all-time classic favorite fragrances and ones that I think in each case, there's a little bit of similarity with these uh, and Gravitas Prom, my own fragrance from Norton and Wilson, which I'm really so excited that I've, I've finally made and that it actually exists. In all cases, we didn't copy these fragrances uh, and in, in fact the perfumer may not even have heard of them or tried them but I think there's little bits of the magic from each one of these perhaps in some small way or in my own fragrance and apart from that I just want to share with you these these great five or six fragrances which are right up there in my all-time classic so let's flip the camera angle and get stuck into it. Okay guys so here is my fragrance Gravitas Boron by Norton and Wilson Really happy with the way the bottle designs come out there with that lovely label with the logo. And I really like the cap too, nice and heavy and all that kind of stuff. And it's got our name Norton and Wilson on the cap there. So, oh, and our logo is there. So we, we, we think the presentation is lovely. Don't forget if you're enjoying the video and you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, then you won't miss any of my future videos. And I like the box. I know it's not a fancy coffret, it's simple but I like the unpretentiousness of it and the nice green color I think suits the brand really well. So Gravitas, uh, just a, a wonderful fragrance that I'm so privileged and lucky to be associated with. I must give all the credit really to perfumer John Stephen who created it. And uh, I'll just list you the fragrant notes on this one. By the way, it's available to buy at our website, nortonandwilson.com. There's a link in the description. Currently, we only have stock available for cost customers in the UK and Europe. Uh, in the USA and Canada, we sold out much faster than we thought. We're shipping some over there as soon as possible. So hopefully uh, by early July, we would expect to have stock back over there so you can buy it. And if that's changed, I'll put a, a, a note in a comment down below uh, at the time of shooting this. Not available, but it will be very soon. Um, so £90 is the price. 100ml extract of parfum. It's 20% fragrance oil. So it's just above what you could normally think of as an eau de parfum level. It's not the mega strongest of extract of parfum concentrations, but a, a pretty high concentration of fragrance oil undoubtedly. So the notes in this one, in the top we've got bergamot and mandarin and lavender. In the mid we have coriander, cardamom and pepper and the base notes are patchouli, ambergris, oak moss and vanilla. So very much a classic fougere in its formal composition with a little bit of added maybe spice and sweetness from the vanilla meaning that it's not the most old school smelling it doesn't smell dated we think it's kind of more in that niche modern fougere bracket which is a, a great place to be i think and, and coincides with many of my other favorites uh, as far as the composition and uh, the way that the fragrance was envisaged goes John Stephen was not told to try and copy anything else or make it like this or like that. I may, I think I mentioned a couple of the fragrances here as ones I really liked, but essentially uh, it, it is a unique creation. But let's talk about some fragrances that you may find have some similarities to give you guys an idea. And, and apart from discussing, you know, apart from the Gravitas connection, just really a fun way for me to talk about some fragrances that I really love in that classic old school, in some cases fougere style, uh, in some cases not actually fougere. So let's kick off with Fougere Royale from the house of Houbigant, perhaps the reference fougere fragrance of all time. First created back in 1882. I have no idea how it smelled back then. It's been recreated or reimagined for our current century in the year of 2010 by perfumer Rodrigo Flores Rue. 
and he did a fantastic job, I think. Uh, the notes include lavender and bergamot. There's petit grain, geranium, rose, carnation, a lot of floral notes. Oak moss, tonka, vanilla, chamomile is kind of noticeable in here. It's a rich, warming, masculine fragrance. It has a certain freshness about it, but it's all, also got this lovely richness and depth. And I find a kind of warming, comforting, grown-up quality. Never smells really old school and dated, like maybe some, you know, uh, let me think, maybe Azaro Porom could come off a bit dated or Dracar Noir. It doesn't come off like those kind of fragrances. It's got something of that magic kind of niche modern quality, that smoothness that people like nowadays. But it also does have that dignified, rarefied old school air. Uh, I guess our bottle, not a million miles removed in this sort of simple shape. I like the classicness of that design. I really think the bottle design is great on that one. So Fougere Royale, definitely we, uh, with Gravitas, we share some of that same kind of masculine warming quality about the fragrance, a little bit of freshness in the opening, and a lot of kind of rich, aromatic, spicy notes, although not necessarily many specific notes that are the same. So somewhat of the same aura is, is what you're gonna get from Gravitas Peron, but a, a pretty different smell overall. Don't forget, if you'd like to join the Smelly Army Private Members Club over on Patreon, there's a link in the description to do that. It costs just $2 a month, and you get an extra video from me every week. Plus, you get to watch everything I've already uploaded in there. We're building a really nice community, lots of interaction, and I'd love to see you in there. Moving on to a, a sort of inevitable one here, Bois de Portugal is arguably my favorite fragrance of all time. Uh, and it's from the house of Creed, of course. A 1987 release. Notes include bergamot, lavender, sandalwood, ambergris, vetiver, and cedar. Certainly in the green and citrusy, sort of green citrus, almost bitter, piquant notes in the opening. I think we, we share those a little bit in Gravitas Peron with Bois de Portugal. It's got that really nice bergamot. We've got some mandarin here. Uh, that's not listed as a note in here, but there will undoubtedly be some other citrus accords probably in Bois de Portugal that are not noted. Of course, a significant lavender element is shared between the two of them. And this kind of slightly spicy, again, warming element that is there in Bois de Portugal, sort of dusty, woody accord in this one. You might not pick up on dusty woodiness so much in Gravitas Prom. I think Bois de Portugal a little bit more old school, but they do share that classic kind of bergamot opening and a somewhat gentlemanly vibe and, and of course, a significant lavender element in both of them. So really, you know, if we've got a little bit of the old Bois de Portugal magic in the Gravitas, we'd, we'd be happy with that. Moving on to something pretty different next. Here's 1725 Casanova. This is from Histoire de Parfums. It was a 2001 release. I would call this an Oriental Fougere fragrance. And uh, it's it's got a lot of the same kind of uh, barbershop-y feel, but I would call it a neo-barbershop fragrance. So it's it, bergamot, grapefruit, there's licorice, star anise, vanilla, almond, cedar and sandalwood. So a lot more sweetness going on, licorice, vanilla, almond, almost you could say a hint of the gourmand. And this is, I kind of think, a neo barbershop style fragrance, very dandified and much less stuffy and old fashioned maybe than things like Bois de Portugal. And we're pleased with the vanilla and spiciness that we've got here, that we capture a little bit of that same kind of vibe, just a little bit of that in Gravitas. Really nice fragrance, this one. Underrated, under the radar, 1725 Casanova from Histoire de Parfum, kind of celebrating the famous romancer from the 18th century, Casanova. And uh, yeah, I'm really a big fan of that one and kind of definitely made a point when talking to perfumer John Stephen that we wanted to have a little bit of that sweetness in there so that it didn't smell like the fragrance literally came from 1985 or whatever. In a similar vein then, we have the very famous and highly rated Invasion Baba from MDCI. Sadly for me, I only have a little decant of that one. I need to pick it up. Uh, maybe because it's kind of similar to 1725, I haven't felt the need to have a bottle, but I, I think it's got enough of its own thing going on that I really would like to get it. A little picture in the corner of the screen of how the bottle should look. 
This one again has uh, grapefruit and bergamot. There's lavender, ginger, vanilla, musk, and some other notes. It's spicy, it's a little bit powdery. It's got a kind of warming quality and a certain underlying sweetness. Again, very much a neo barbershop type fragrance. And again, with our um, some of the spices and vanilla in this one, alongside an overall fresh feel, there's a certain similarity. If you, if you enjoy Invasion Bar Bar, I've heard a couple of reviewers compare Gravitas to it a bit. So that's in there a little bit. Something completely different now. Some people have mentioned, and they're quite right to do so, that there's rather a noticeable element of patchouli in Gravitas Pour Homme. Uh, lavender and patchouli both quite noticeable in our fragrance, and a real patchouli bomb. I don't think you'll get a direct massive similarity in smell, but the sort of the benchmark patchouli heavy fragrance from the 1970s, I think, was uh, Gervonchi Gentleman from 1974, perfumer Paul Leger. And uh, this one includes notes of lemon, there's bergamot, there's lots of patchouli, leather, vanilla, a little bit of animalic civet in the base, kind of a musky undertone with the leather in this one. So not really a fougere fragrance. Uh, I think maybe a sort of woody, woody leather fragrance. V quite heavy stuff, quite old fashioned. I've got a vintage bottle here where you get a really nice old style box that you can't get anymore. The modern version lacks a bit of the magic of these older versions. I think mine's from the mid 90s. And uh, funnily enough, this was actually my dad's signature scent. So uh, I didn't consciously seek to put any of that into Gravitas Pour Homme, and it wasn't mentioned at all to perfumer uh, John Stephen, but with the patchouli in this one, you may pick up just that little bit of reminiscence of Givenchy Gentleman, which is kind of appropriate as my dad, who's no longer around, used to wear it. So uh, I, I kind of like that there's just a smidgen uh, of reminiscence to Givenchy Gentleman, but a, a pretty one of the more different ones overall in smell quite far removed from Gravitas, but there's a hint of that. Finally, Chanel Pommashore, a beautiful Chypre fragrance. I think we've got a little bit of that nice green citrusy bitterness mixed with spices in the opening of Gravitas, and, and that lavender and stuff is also in there. I think there's a bit of ginger in Pommashore. No ginger in this, but we've got cardamom and coriander, so there's a spiciness about the fragrance, a spicy greenness that I think is, is really nice, and it ties in with another one that used to be for a little while, a signature scent for me many years ago, Puma Shaw, from the house of uh, Chanel, of course. So that brings me pretty much to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to uh, have a look at the Gravitas Prom Norton & Wilson website. And if you've got a bottle, let me know in the comments what you think of it, any other fragrances you compare it to, and what you thought about these classics that I've talked about as being some of the most influential fragrances, I guess, in my fragrance journey over the years. Guys, thank you ever so much for joining me. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.